All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and welcome back to the Nino Kuni, the Wrath of the White Wish Let's Play. And if you did miss out during the last one, well, we just went and got the brand new want for Oliver, known as the Mornstar. And not only that, but we also did go in battle with the Candle Abracadabra here around within the Tombstone Trail. Now, this guy in particular is going to be uh, very annoying. Uh, he is almost in the exact same type of ballpark range as Moltan, but instead, this guy has a lot of effects that do happen within uh, from what the battlefield is going to be that will cause a lot of curses on you and uh, makes you very slow uh, when you start trying to go and do any type of move so make sure that you do have at least some sort of item in particular known as the curse be gone to uh, get rid of that effect so that you don't really have to have that type of issue uh, alongside uh, within the boss battle there but we are going to be seeing the unfortunate departure of Gascon it looks like he is not going to be joining alongside with us uh, back over to the uh, Hamlin Kingdom at this point in time to meet up back with the uh, with the dad that's going to be there and uh now we are going to be seeing a very strange type of segment that's going to be happening later on once we get back to the hamlet kingdom and meet up back with uh uh, with Mark Kaysen and Gascon's dad and uh, Swain out of all people is going to have a little bit of a hidden story uh, about himself uh, that we're going to be uh, learning about and uh, I think you guys are going to be uh, very intrigued to see what that is going to be happening within here now uh, within these two videos for today uh, not only are we going to be doing our time out here with just Neo Kuni alone uh, but we are of course going to be going and doing some more of the uh, Shadow Temple that is happening within Ocarina of Time now we are going to have to go and do another Silver Rupee Challenge and I want to say we are going to be finally reaching on into our way into I want to say the part where in the Shadow Temple where we are going to have to go and ride along the uh, the the I want to say the, uh, the the possessed type of ship that's going to be there so that we could go and head off into the next uh, particular part. So I think that's where the boss key is going to be at. I want to say so, right? And uh, that means uh, pretty soon that the Shadow Temple will be completed and we will have to go and face off with uh, Bongo Bongo in the uh, in the next time that we go and uh, move off into Ocarina of Time again. But, yep, there it is. So Gascon is not going to be here. But let's go and uh, return back over to the Hamlin part. Now, there is going to be some little side things that I am going to do here within this area. And that is, of course, going to have to go and buy on some more new uh, items for us uh, so that we can at least try to at least uh, retrieve some of the things that we have kind of missed out on uh, within, uh, well, within our uh, part that we had to go through within the boss battle. Because I know that there is... Uh, a lot of like healing items to go and pick up and also as well too i just went and got some new upgrades uh for our guys and that was of course getting a brand new weapon for uh uh i want to say for gunther there and we also got a new helmet i think as well too for the uh for our new familiar known as nightcap that's going to be here as well too oh no well that's not good well it seems like shadar has finally come around and uh did some damage to his dad and unfortunately it looks like he's not going to be able to make it through uh his injuries that are going to happen from here Demand our unconditional oh man that's not good huh? but, but, but you know what at least the good thing before uh he is gonna be uh well not gonna be around anymore is that at least he gave us the the breach spell right so now that means we can actually be able to go and return back to our normal time now and reach back into the future and finally uh, go back and meet up with Marques and that that's a little bit older and hopefully we can at least try to uh, help out uh, with him and his belief because I want to say that uh, Marques and the young Marques is going to give us that belief uh, type of piece of heart that we will be able to go and put that to use later on. Together, you and Marcus and can I Oh, so now this is where we get to go and finally realize that uh Swain out of all out of all this time, which we never really got to go and know yet, is that he is Gascon uh within the uh within the future. Which that is a quite big surprise. I know that during the last episode, I know I was kind of uh, talking about during the time of the Tombstone Trail that um, that 
that Swain had like some interesting type of dialogue that was happening because apparently Swain said like said like oh I've been in your shoes before I know like uh, what what you're going through and other things of of, of what was happening in that text which that kind of seemed a little bit strange but now we actually kind of now know that uh that hey uh Swain is actually Gascon all this time. But hopefully he's doing all right. I know it's been like several days now. Jeez. But we should probably go and get our butts moving back over to the future side of things, right? Oh, okay. So it looks like we have to go and say bye to uh, Marquesan first. But let's go and uh, pick up with that belief. And uh, we'll make sure that we'll go and uh, take that alongside with us here. Oh yeah, we already know that uh, Marquise is going to be making himself one fine emperor. Even though that currently right now, he's not really in the best of states at this moment in time. Because he always keeps on thinking that he's ugly or something that is going on with his uh, belief that's like all broken hearted at this point. But yes, if you guys already go and see, our locket is glowing. So it's time to go and take that heart that we do need. We'll put it right back into our... Uh, into our inventory here and ooh, look at that it's all a little purpley out here eh. i have to say all the different type of pieces of heart actually look uh pretty cool like they all have like their own little uh certain colors that you can kind of like at least know exactly what type of uh what type of heart that you're going to be getting with okay so now i think with this point in time here is that we're gonna go and use our breach of time spell and uh, let's go and return back oh man this has a lot of type of uh, dark cloud 2 feels because if you guys remember from before back in dark cloud 2 we were always able to go and return back and forth between the different uh, times that were happening within the game right like well, instead of us having to go and build out on certain parts of the town, you know, within Dark Cloud 2, this time around we can actually just use a wand to just go back and forth between the areas without even having to uh, worry about building things anymore. But I think that's about it, where I think we are going to be having to go and end off with the episode for today. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, too, stay tuned for when we go and continue onwards with more of Ocarina at a Time, and that will be in the Shadow Temple.